Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. Um, I'm right now in Bogota, Colombia. You probably are gonna be getting some mixed videos, uh, quality related. Some of them are gonna be like good, like this one. And another ones are gonna be not that good. But the thing is, I have two different phones because I cannot take this camera out on the streets. So when I'm outside, I'm gonna be filming with another like a uh, phone which has not like the best camera ever, but it is what it is. And then when I'm here in this uh, security of my hotel i will be filming with this one i'm right here in bogota colombia let me show you a little bit this is where i'm staying right now it's beautiful it's rainy like it always rain here and yeah it is what it is okay guys so it is time to talk about some tea because i usually don't talk about housewife who already left but this is like like a whole thing, okay? And we're going to be talking about <clears throat> Kim Solsiak, ex-housewife from the Real Housewife of Atlanta. And not only that, this whole new show that her daughters are getting. And it's like a whole thing, guys. It's a whole thing. And I was like, damn, damn, you know? But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank button right here. And let's talk about this mess. Girl, <clears throat> how do I tell you this? I mean, okay, let's talk with the fact Real Housewife of Atlanta, Kim Solsiak, she left, she had her show, uh, Eight seasons, it was good, but apparently for a long, very, very long time, there has been these rumors that they are broke, that they don't have any money, and I'm thinking, like, where is all the money? Even if you only got the coins from Bravo, it's still a good amount of coins. You had a show for eight seasons, okay? Um, I remember I used to follow her on Instagram, and she's always selling shit on Instagram. So she still must get, like, good partnerships and sponsorships, you know? So, like, where is all that money? Where is all that money, girl? What is going on? Like, I don't, I don't understand. And, you know, the rumors always, always. Like, even, I think as soon as she left uh, Real Housewife of Atlanta, it has, it has always been, like... Like, she has no money. They are struggling. Um, what is the name of the husband? Um, shit, I completely forgot. But I don't even know if he's playing anymore. Like, it, it, it's messy and it's weird, you know? And they live in Atlanta. I mean, it's not like it's LA. So, like, <clears throat> yeah. Like, where is the money? Now, the last news that we got from Kim Solsiak randomly last week was that they were literally about to lose their house or that they lose their house to foreclosure because uh, and it was going to be sell for like $285,000 and I think it's like a $2 million, $2 million mansion or something like that. Um, but I, it went on foreclosure and I'm thinking like, you don't have $280,000? And even with all the contacts, like you don't have even a way to find $250,000? Like... Yes, for us regular people, that's a lot of money, of course. But like I'm telling you, like if you had a reality show for eight seasons, where is the coins? Why do you don't, why you don't have money to pay for your house? Why are you still paying for your house? Like, bitch, the people from Bandipum Rules bought mansions of 1.5 and 2 million dollars and they literally paid it like cash, like right there. You know, so like what? Now she doesn't have any money. Now she's losing the house. I know that she came forward later as saying that, that that's not going to happen, that that's a lie, that she, of course, she's not going to lose her house for $250,000. Uh, there are another rumors saying that she convinced someone to buy the house and let her pay rent or something like that or, or till they 
could pay her back. I don't know. It's a mess. Like the thing is, like the bitch has to pay, you know. And I don't get it why if she has been living in this house for so long, she still has to pay. I don't get it. But anyways, now we're moving on into the tea, and it is that it is official that uh, Brielle and what is the name of the other one? Aria, Aria, Adria, Ariana? No. Well, Brielle and the other sister, they are getting their own show. Like, it is official. Like, they are getting their own show, you know? And that the whole deal of the show is that they are going to be moving to L.A. And it's like, oh, we are going to be struggling in L.A. because we are getting cut off from our parents. So our parents is not giving us any more money and we now to live for ourselves. Okay. First of all, they are not cutting you off, okay? They are literally having no money to give you. So that's a little bit different. Second of all, why how old is Brielle? Isn't she like 20 something? Like, why is she still depending on her parents to get money? Okay, spoil alert right there. And the whole struggling, like, girl, the amount of privilege that you're going to have, it's insane. She's going to move to L.A., and believe me, I don't think she's going to be working, like, as a busser in a restaurant or, like, a dishwasher, you know, or, like, doing any of that. No, no. I mean, she's going to move to L.A., she's going to move some contacts, she's going to she's gonna start, like, hosting, or probably, like, in, 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 in Soho House, or she's going to start, like, you know, having uh, a modeling job, or, you know, like, any of, like, these, like, big jobs that you get when you have privilege, you know? And, and that's going to be her struggle. It's going to be like, oh, my God, it is so rough. Like, I have to live with, like, $5,000 a month. Like, How? How does poor people live? I don't know. I mean, it's going to give, it's going to be messy. Um, I probably will watch the first episode to recap it. And, you know, like the same thing with Buying Berry Hills. I will watch it. And if you guys want me to watch the rest, um, I will do it. Uh, but do I think it's an interesting show? I don't know. I haven't seen them in a very long time. So, like, depending on how chaotic they are, it could be either very entertaining and give us, like, simple life kind of vibes, or it could be boring as fuck. But, I mean, look, do you, girl, do the struggle. It is time for you to struggle, for real, you know. Uh, but don't come here and tell us that you were cut off by your parents. No. You have to go on. And find a job, you know. And of course, what is the only thing that you know what to do is reality TV. And do you have the contacts? Of course, she has the contacts. So now she's getting her own show. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you going to be watching this? Uh, let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.